Good morning everyone. My name is Sheila Peacock and I'm the Mayor of Haringey and I've been asked to speak to you about my memories of the Second World War. You know the war started on September the 3rd 1939 which was actually my birthday. It was my eighth birthday in fact and I was woken up early in the morning by my parents and they, I thought they were coming to give me presents, but they weren't. They came and made me get dressed and they put a rucksack on my back and my mum put sandwiches in my pockets and they marched me off to school. And I said, what's happening? Why, why am I doing this? Where am I going? Don't worry, said my dad. It'll be all right. You'll be safe. Just listen to what your teacher says and you'll be OK. So I went with my teacher and all the other children and we walked all the way to the station and we got on the train and we went to Northampton. When we got to Northampton, we went to the village hall and we all lined up and the villagers walked up and down, picking out which children they wanted to have to live with them. And so that was my life for a year or so. But then my mother got very, very ill and my father decided to take me back to London to be with her in case she died. Luckily, she didn't die, but I stayed there. But then my father had to go into the army and then my mother got ill again. So they took me to live with my uncle and aunt in Lansing, my auntie Sally and my uncle Sam and my cousins. And it was a, we had a, a very enjoyable time because we didn't see much of the war there. We didn't see any of the uh, stuff that was going on, the bombing and everything. And then, um, you know, we had no television in those days. So to follow the war, what was happening, we used to have the radio on or we read the papers. And then one day, actually it was May the 8th, we were told that the war was over. Wow, we were so excited. We didn't know how to contain ourselves. So we decided, my cousins and I, that we were going to go and, and march around the town. We were singing and cheering as we walked around the streets and the people came out from their houses to cheer with us because they were all so delighted that the war was now at last over. And some of the neighbours, even after this, at this event on this night, decided to have street parties and that's what they did. And that was also great. But I'm just reminiscing now because it was 75 years ago. And so we decided, as the government has decided to make a public holiday on May the 8th, we decided that we also were going to celebrate in Harringay and we were going to have a picnic in Finsbury Park and other things going on all around the borough. But unfortunately, the virus came and everything had to be ground to a halt because we're no longer allowed to meet up with one another in that way. And so that will have to come after the virus is finished. I want to say at this time how grateful I am for all the people who have been working so hard for us, all the people that have been making sure that we are still alive, they're looking after and caring for us, our friends, our family, our neighbours, making sure that we had food or anything else that we wanted. You know, when you go around Haringey and you see the office blocks, they're empty of people because people are now working from home and that may be something they would continue to do after the virus has gone, to work from home because with computers it's so much easier. Oh dear, I only wish this virus was finished and done with and we could then meet up with one another, celebrate birthdays, funerals, weddings, everything like that, all together as one great big happy family. I do hope that you are all well and look after yourselves. Nice to be talking to you. Bye bye for now.